There's four questions in life everyone needs to answer. Answer as soon as possible. Answer correctly because it will give an entire direction to your life. And that is, who am I? Where did I come from? Why am I here? Where will I go after I die? Let's take the two belief systems. Let's take evolution and creation. According to evolution, who am I? I am about 210 pounds of water and chemical substances. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Come one, come all. Only 10 cents to see the bizarre freak of nature. The man who never learned the difference between the words who and what. Where did I come from? I came from an explosion that happened about 20 billion years ago. If you're going to describe it like that, I'll describe your creation myth like this. I got poofed into existence by some dude. Why am I here? I don't have the faintest idea. Sucks to be you. You'd think you could have figured that out by now. I can suggest something, though. To spread lies and superstition. That'd be a good one. You make your own reasons for being here. If you don't want to be here, kill yourself. Nobody's going to miss you. Where will I go after I die? To become part of the other water and chemicals that make up this earth. Again, back to the creation version with the same attitude. Where do I go after I die? Eh, go sit on a cloud somewhere. What lousy answers. No kidding. You could have done a whole lot better at that. Go read some Sagan or something, dude. What lousy motivation. To even exist. To keep on living. To keep on trying to get better. You really don't seem to be trying too hard to get better, John. But, uh, as far as the motivation to keep on living, kill yourself. Let's go to the side of creation. According to creation, who am I? I'm an important person made in the image and likeness of my creator. You're an abject slave who has to grovel and snivel your whole fucking life, and you'll probably burn anyway. Born worthless, die worthless. And you can't make your own worth for yourself either. You are a worthless piece of shit on the sole of God's shoe. Doesn't that make you feel nice? Hey, if we're playing this game, John, I'm not going to be nice about it. Where did I come from? I came from a loving, intelligent, Creation. A psychopathic demon god decided he wanted to fuck around with some dirt. Why am I here? To know, love, serve, and obey, trust my creator and savior, Jesus Christ. To be a slave, and to teach my kids to be slaves too. And to die without ever accomplishing anything other than setting back the course of human advancement and possibly contributing to the downfall of the entire human species as we descend into ignorance and fail to achieve the absolute necessity of getting off this planet and colonizing other worlds before we are destroyed or we destroy ourselves. Where will I go after I die? Because Jesus Christ lives in my life. I'm going to be with him forever. Because Jesus Christ lives in your life you will waste your life worshipping a non-existent entity. And when you die, you'll rot in the ground like the rest of us. But before you die, you'll be hoping, greedily, selfishly, and with a genuine immorality and just purely disgusting nature, that you are given a gift of eternal life and joy and peace, and that everyone like me burns eternally for no crime whatsoever. Despite the fact that we tried to be good people while we were alive and attempted to aid the world in the best way that we knew how. You are fucking slime. As far as I'm concerned, you're worthless. You're a sick fuck. You need help. Get some de-brainwashing therapy. You know, when I was studying at the university, my major was chemistry. I had a scholarship for four years at the university. And my whole goal was to get a degree in chemistry. I just loved the sciences, loved learning about these things. And yet I have to admit, too, that I got involved in drinking, theft, foul language, wrong use of sex, and just plain selfish, proud person. Now, every Sunday I would go to church. I would never miss a Sunday for church. I always believed in the religious belief that I was brought up with, but still I had all these sins that were plaguing my life. My sophomore year, life continued as I already mentioned, but something happened on a special uh, Monday, and then we had some religious speakers come into my fraternity. Now when I heard that, I said to myself, I'm not going to that. The president of our house said, if anybody doesn't go to this meeting, you'll have a house fine. I said, okay, I'll go to that meeting. But I very much believed in my religion, even though my religion could not change me. 
But these fellows about my age, I was 19 years old, told about how their lives used to be, how they came to know Jesus Christ, and how Jesus Christ had changed their lives. Well, this was really unusual to me because I believed in God, I believed in Jesus Christ, but my life was going from bad to worse. The last man gave a talk from the Bible, and I didn't really follow anything that he said until the end when he quoted this verse from John 1, 12 that says, But to as many receive him, Jesus Christ, to them he gives the power to become the children of God, even to those that believe on his name. Well, I reasoned this way. You'll have to forgive me if this sounds bad, but I thought I'm going to do an experiment with Jesus Christ. I'm going to see if he can change my life, because I cannot change it. And so I prayed a prayer something like this. I said, God, I have sinned against you. Jesus, come into my heart, forgive my sins, take control of my life, make me be the person that you want me to be. Help me to know you and to live with your power. Amen. And I began to trust that what Jesus said was true, that he now lived with inside me. From that day forward, I never got drunk once again. In two weeks, he changed my vocabulary drastically for the better. And after four weeks, he freed me of four years of the wrong use of sex. So that entire story was about you used to drink and have sex, but you didn't like it because your mommy and daddy said it was bad, and so you stopped. That's the story. Oh my god, you're a fucking loser. See you soon. God bless you. Suck my dick.